here we are again for another get together, starting out with a little breakfast with Julio and uh, not to be out of here. I'm here Richie. too. Richie. Yes. Now, what are we here for, folks? We're here breakfast. for a record show and an Astoria. Astoria, Queens. And these guys buy a lot of records. And we're, from, and we're both from Queens. Well, I was born in Brooklyn, couldn't you tell? I was born in Manhattan. Yeah. Richie, you look a little different today. Yeah, I shaved for the event. I wanted to look nice. Yeah, I think that's because good. there's going to be a lot of whores there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyway, let's see our breakfast and have some food here. What do you got there today? Hello. So today I decided to go for this thing they do. It's called an omelet, and they just take basic eggs and they mix different ingredients in. I know it's not. It's not the new and one. They do this crazy shape with the potatoes. Oh, that's something different. Yeah, this is, well, you know, it's Long Island. What do you got, Julio? Some French toast here and sausage oh. and some real maple syrup. And I, you know, I had this last time, too. Corned beef, ash, and eggs. All the easy. All right, dig in, fellas. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, now you're talking. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Right. I love the less of less with each one. Right, London, London Town. Town was the first album I bought and hated on first listen. I could never go back. <laughs> Tell them how you feel about with a little luck, Richie. Oh, yeah, that like. With a little luck, I could be your friend. We could play at school. Can you put my. Dad I love with a little luck. Yeah. <laughs> I like well, to. With a little puke. I, my favorite song off that album isn't even a McCarthy song. It's Delivery of Children's and Denny Lane's. Yeah, that, that's a bad album. That's a, I call Luckily, it. he bounced back with Back from the Egg. I call uh, uh, London Town a middle tier album. Yeah, I don't like it very much. Well, here we are in Astoria. And, uh, Third place of Tony Bennett, Melanie, Patrick McGowan. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe drive around a little bit. What's the matter? Can't find a spot? What I would suggest is you look for a parking spot and park in that spot. Really? I'm just, I'm just throwing what do you, it out What do there. you think about that, Joe? Sounds logical. Yeah. What? That's a good idea, right? I don't see any spots. Well, be patient. Patience and prudence is what we need. My grandmother used to say, patience gains all things. And I used to say, well, I can't grow wings or a new set of eyeballs. True. True. Should I try to get that one? Now? Yeah, this reminds me of Popeye Doyle. Yeah. A little bit, right? Can you go faster and like almost run over a woman with a baby carriage? That sounds like an idea. We don't like children. We're going to stop those drug dealers. They always sit me next to kids in restaurants, my girlfriend and I. Really? Oh, you've got that appeal like you're just like a big teddy bear. Just... Did I say no parking any time? Yeah, yeah, that's no good. Oh, man, I told you. How about what's over here? Must be some park. driveway. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, man, forget it. Let's you know what I said, let's go home. That's that space. Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish I Well, here we are, Richie and Julio. In our old hometown. And uh, this is uh, reminds me of a song, Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard. We'll all be on the cover of Newsweek. So, this is uh, an area that you guys are familiar with. We grew up here. We grew up around here. I worked around here for many years also. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Listen, Joe, here's a little Astoria story from the past. Back in February, February of 1964, I was seven years old, and I was hanging out with my friends on the street, and we all had transistor radios out, the older kids. And uh, go. Sorry for ruining your podcast. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, so the older kids on the radios, they heard that the Beatles had landed at the airport, and they were going to be on their way into Manhattan. So we followed all the older teenage kids over to the overpass on the Long Island Expressway, and we actually looked down at the overpass as the cars came by. And now I can't swear that was the Beatles' entourage, but there was this, this string of limos and a little activity around them. And so we swear that was the Beatles going by on their way into the movie. How cool is that? Yeah. Memories of 64. Kind of 1960. Kind of I'm, even loving these, I'm even loving these dumpsters over here, man. This is the coolest thing. Yeah, they know how to get rid of garbage around here. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling we're in the place here where the record show is. The record show. Oh, it said Beatles, man. That was a great show. Yeah. Oh, the Beatle records in there, Japanese. 
All right, what do you got there, bro, young man? Looking at this help. Oh, apple. Apple help. Well, this is something I've been looking for for a long time. You gotta love when the records are too cramped tightly that you can't look at them. And then not only are they cramped tightly, but they're all backwards. What do you got there? I don't have nothing. You got something there. Yeah, I got some good stuff. We'll check it out later. I thought this was kind of unusual. Billy Monster sings, five bucks. I don't know. I love that. I don't know. I just thought it was weird. I see Lily Monster singing. It's a great record. So. Odyssey and Oracle. It was a big deal at the Beatles. Oh, it's not sealed. Pretty nice. Very nice. You and that guy. You and that guy worked in cahoots. He's not happy. Uh, that's the record I found hours ago. I've been trying to find it all day. And then I tell the guy $20. He says, no. I said, 15 No, you go 15 and get it. Oh, uh, uh, Richie, you're taking all my Supremes records. It's in pretty nice shape. Maybe I'm going to let you know. Thanks. Oh. We're going back in, folks, for seconds. Yeah, we're going back in, but uh, what are you saying before? Yeah, there might be some violence in this episode, folks. Yeah, why? Yeah, because Julio stole your record. No, I didn't. I, that's an overstatement, but there's a situation and it seems to be a little discrepancy as to the legality of what transpired. Or at least the ethical. You know what it is? I had a, I had a setup with the guy that was selling the record. To screw me. I, I see that. I told him, don't sell it to him. To me. Listen, this is what happened. I find a record. I wasn't quite sure if the record was the right label, if it was completely in total setting. So I went to look for my expert buddy over here. And then I forgot where the record was. So we spent 45 minutes trying to find the guy. And I finally pull the record out. Julio gives it the okay. It's great. Looks great. I want it. I'm kind of commiserating with Julio. What do you think of the price? He goes, get the guy to go down. The guy wants 20. I offer him 15. He says no. I stubbornly stick it back in the package. Julio picks the thing out, offers the guy 15, he takes it. I thought Julio did me a solid. He's going he's gonna to give it to me for 15. That's what he I was... keeps the record for himself. Yeah. When I first heard the story in there, I thought that's what had happened. But I, I could give you the first account that Julio's a great guy. Though. No, he's a wonderful uh, human being, but he's a sociopath as well. Go ahead, <laughs> tell your side of the story. Well, I had told him, if you don't take it, I probably will. If I can get a good price on it. I pulled it out and I, I, I immediately I says to the guy, How much? He goes, fifteen dollars. I say, okay. You know what? This is like this this is like that Evan and Costello bit where he's like, You're not gonna take that from him. Go back in there. <laughs> he tells me, No, no, don't pay that, don't pay that. I put it back, I'm not paying it. My friend tells me it's not worth that. He walks over and, and offers the guy the same price I offered him. No, the guy I, says, yes. I buttered the guy up to, yeah. to make him want to give it to somebody for fifteen dollars. We're here with a guy that sells nothing but Declan McManus, aka Elvis Costello. I mean, I never saw so many Elvis Costello records in one spot. Look at that. These are all, this is all are these Elvis all, Costello singles. These, is this the company you always read about? Are you sure? I don't know. Let me look at it. I never saw this many Elvis Costello records in one spot. 
I want to look at it. Hey, wait a minute. Now, there's the real Elvis. But anyway, how much? It's pretty nice. What is it? 80. How much? 80. 80. Well, here we are, just after the show, just having some drinks and something well, to eat. Go back into the show. They're going to go back into the show again. You're not, you're not done yet, right, Julio? Well, maybe. Let's see what happens. And then we're going to dinner. I don't know why you had to eat that when we're going to dinner. We're going to dinner. Are we really? Why do you tell me we're going to dinner? Here's to you, fans of Mean Mr. Mayo. <laughs> And I got a little bit of soda. That's about it. I'm still here too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we started out this morning with our I'm breakfast. Them, We're ending up with our booze and narcotics. I hear that Julio's getting drunk already. He's got to drive. He's a very good drunk driver. He actually drives better drunk than he does when he's does he? whatever he is when he's. So do you feel that it was a successful record show for you? Well, you know what's funny? Uh, I did not really care for this record show, and I hear you guys said it wasn't so good either. You think so good? You don't think so either, Julio? Right? However, I wound up getting some rare stuff, which we're going to show probably. Hey, I still spent one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars, but it's mostly shit I didn't. Know. <laughs> I still wound up getting some good stuff anyway. I'm surprised. We, we sometimes get some decent stuff anyway. I mean, I get some nice things, but nothing special. Well, anyway, here we are, folks. We're actually done with the record show, but there's some other place that they want to go to. I think it's a thrift store. Raven. Kind of an antique place here in Sunnyside, Queens, adjacent to Astoria. And this is a cool little uh, place, and they have records, and we don't get to come here very often. All right, so a little hole in the wall over here. Is there going to be anything worth it? We'll find out in a minute. I hope they still have that Panther Girl poster. Maybe Julia will buy it. Oh, look, there's records out here. All right, Julio. Hey, how's it going? All right, man. We brought you Joe, a friend of ours that collects. Here I am. You never know. It might be something. Uh, anything there for me? Yeah, the shags. There you go. Let me tell you. No, we won't. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is something interesting here. Beetle 60 to 62. Uh, Silver Beetles live in Hamburg. That's unusual. I'm probably going to pick this up here. Uh, Walls and Bridges cassette. Well, here we are at the end of the day with our finds. So let's start with Richie. All right. I got the Supremes, a bit of Liverpool, which was uh, very controversial because uh, I went back 27 times. Because even though it was pretty cheap and shrunk wrap, it has a little line in it that I was trying to talk yeah, myself into. It's kind of scratchy, but it's all right. I it's had a, to get it. I it's a good, it's a good album. I, take it. I got a really nice copy of Super Bad by James Brown. I got a German pressing of the first Elvis Costello record from uh, 1977. I got Keith. Ain't Gonna Lie, and uh, 98.6. I got a backup copy of Reparata and the Delrons, Whenever a Teenager Cries. I got uh, Go Little Honda, five bucks, the Hondells. This is a great record, uh, Eddie and the Falcons, which is really Roy Wood uh, and Wizard, and it's great 50s and rockabilly stuff. I got another James Brown record uh, with, on Smash Records with the uh, picture. Uh, a sealed copy of this Supremes record, uh, which is produced and arranged, and all the songs are written by Jimmy Webb. I always wanted a copy of this one Grand Funk record because Todd Rundgren produced it, and this one is on uh, Japanese import. To Japanese import on sil on uh, gold vinyl. This album cover is very beat up, but the record is mint, and it's uh, the second album by Question Mark and the Mysterians that I needed. I'm gonna try and uh, clean up that record. 
And a nice copy of the Stones Beggar's Banquet, an original copy. It's, the record is very clean. And uh, my big winner was a beautiful mint copy of uh, Pet Sounds on uh, the original UK pressing. I know this is Joe's favorite record. No comments. And a Japanese uh, Desire by Bob, by Bob Dylan. Oh. And that's what I got. Okay. Well, okay, now we're ready for Julio's finds here. Uh, what do you got there? Okay. I've got a, uh, a Japanese glare. import single of the 77 Sunset Strip theme. I got this Edison Lighthouse single from Japan. It's called uh, What's Happening? I don't know where the glare is coming from. I got this Beatles Hey Jude and Revolution Japanese import. Now, as far as albums, I got a Marty Robbins Devil Woman, which has a pretty nice cover. I got a... Uh, Odyssey and Oracle, the zombies on date. Got a pretty good deal on this one. It's in really nice shape. I got Marvin Gaye in the groove. That's the one you stole from Richie. I got a promo of Neither One of Us by Gladys Knight and the Pips. I got Merle Haggard and the Strangers. I'm a lonesome fugitive. I got basic blues magoos. I get the ebullient Mr. Gillespie. I get the many new sides of Charlie Rich on Smash. Smokey Robinson, the Miracles, pocket full of miracles. Dizzy Gillespie, something old, something new. Dizzy Gillespie, have trumpet, will excite. John Coltrane Quartet, Crescent. It's a Van Gelder. Now what's special about this? Well, this is common. What about the Van Gelder? No, oh, this Dylan. is the Bob Dylan Blood on Tracks with the full mural on the back. Oh, okay. I got a sealed copy of James Brown's Super Bad. And I got Aretha Franklin. Today I sing the blues. Okay, and now for me, I just got this. I just saw uh, Walls and Bridges, a cassette tape. Which is, it looks like it's original. It has an apple down there. Okay. And I got Zager and Evans in the year 2525. Japanese. Monkey's Pleasant Valley Sunday in Words. Japanese single. Lobo. I'd Love You to Want Me. Japanese single. Then Good Night Tonight. Wings. Wings again. Hi, hi, hi. With Sea Moon. Peter and Gordon. World Without Love, I Want to Hold Your Hand in This Boy, uh, Japanese, yeah, these are all Japanese, of course, live version coming up, and on the run, and 1985, from Paul, For You, Blue, Long and Winding Road, some guys called the Beatles, oh, oh. With a little luck, a favorite of Richie's here, I know. With a little luck. <laughs> <laughs> we got Happy Christmas War is Over. Listen to Snow is Falling, John and Yoko. Uh, listen to Snow is Falling is beautiful. Wings, spin it on. Punk, getting closer. This is the A side, I should That's say. That's cool. Uh, my Love and the Mess. And uh, then we got... Long Tall Sally, and I Call Your Name, Beatles again. We got some Russian. Russian albums here. We got McCartney, the McCartney album. I don't know what that says. That's McCartney, I guess, in Russian. Nice, different yellow back. Then we got uh, John Lennon Imagine, if I could find out how it goes. It looks like it goes this way. John Lennon Imagine, which looks as different than the other one that we're used Russian. to. Russian. John Lennon, Plastic Ono Band from Russia. Sealed copy. Don't let the 40 fool you. I got it half price. $20 sealed uh, with the hype sticker. It's going to stay sealed. Yvonne DiCarlo sings. Lily Munster herself. I hear that Richie has this I album. Love that record. So I figured that was good. Half price, $5. And I got a couple of Connie Francis uh, records. Connie Francis, the great French and Italian hits. And first, uh, I think it's my first Japanese Connie record there. Uh, all-time greats. To me, 
these next two titles are the find of the day from all of us. Joe got them, and I think he got something really special. Let's find out. Here's what they are. Okay. They're both open reels. Yeah. Reel to reel. Open reels. Uh, Beatles Help original soundtrack. These are in really good shape. And also, Meet the Beatles. Four track, seven and a half IPS stereo. Same. So uh, that's it, folks. And uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll do it again real soon. Hopefully. We'll do it next month in Garden City. <laughs> How about tomorrow night? All right. All right. <laughs>